really tough job, y'all. But someone's gotta do it. Jess is here. Hi. And we are getting photo shoot ready. I'm getting ready for the Pordomas calendar shoot. Jess just fought the traffic all the way from Orange County to come make me pretty because she's the best. So I will update you guys once I have a face on. Up makeup Jess is amazing thank you girl take a look at these eyes so now I need to bring my hair to life and I will be headed over to the Venice boardwalk that is where we are shooting if you are in the LA or Orange County area I will put all of Jessica's information in the description box below so if you need your makeup done definitely hit her up she's the best Hair is done, makeup is done, and we are off to the Pardoma shoot. Here is a little sneak peek at one of the looks that I'm going to be wearing. We are headed to the Venice Boardwalk, gonna shoot a couple of looks, and hopefully now one down for the calendar. We have arrived at the Venice Boardwalk here with Matt, and we are getting ready to shoot, but we need to find the perfect location first. And also, we need to find my prop. Well, there's some sort of power outage going on um, on the Venice Boardwalk right now. So after a 30 minute trek back and forth, we finally found one stand that is open because the most important part of the shoot is happening here. So it just occurred to me that there is a power outage, but these people are still able to cook my french fries, so really wondering how do you make fries without power if anyone has an answer for this comment below I'm confused I guess we'll find out We've got my photo shoot prop we are ready to go if you guys are familiar we are on Venice Beach at the graffiti wall yes I'm in my Cubs jersey and I've got my fries and that pretty much sums me up our little assistant, Maverick, he was such a trooper and he sat and posed for the perfect shot so he gets rewarded. <sighs> Alright y'all, we just nailed, I think what we got was the perfect shot for the calendar and a couple of other really fun ones with Maverick. Can't wait to show you guys, it'll be a 2017 calendar with lots of great stuff for you. So we're so excited to launch it and I'll keep you guys posted on all the details. Just got back from the shoot. We stopped at the firehouse on the way home and grabbed a little bit of lunch. I had um, a chicken and egg white scramble with green peppers, onions, mushrooms, and cilantro, and it was delicious. And now I'm home laying in bed. I don't care what anybody says, photo shoots are exhausting. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and try and just relax for like a minute and then put my gym clothes on and it is leg day today. No excuses because it is improvement season and this is where the work really counts. I wasn't lying y'all, I finally got my butt up and got to the gym, but this power outage is serious here in Venice. The entire power is out at gold, so this should be an interesting workout today. <laughs> in Venice and all the electricity is out here at Gold's which means no fans at all and it is hot AF. So I'm currently on the leg press. I'm about three-fourths the way done with my workout. I will catch you guys in the next clip. On this 
spin bike, getting my cardio in. No power inside the gym, which means all of the cardio machines are turned off. So we come outside and ride the spin bike for cardio. Yes, this is my improvement season and I will be making some changes to my training and to my cardio regimen and to my diet as well. I will be reducing cardio, but it's not something that you can abruptly just stop doing. Plus, cardio is good for your heart health, so no, I don't believe that you should ever really fully eliminate cardio from your training plan, unless of course it does not align with your individual goals. I always say the word individual because you guys, no plan, whether it be diet or training, is going to be cookie cutter for everybody. What works for you might not work for the next person. What works for me might not work for you. Listen to your body, listen to your goals, and do what's best for you. And on that note, let's spin. just working on client programming. No, I still have not taken off this makeup from my photo shoot earlier because it is just too dang pretty. But I'm also so excited that my new website has finally launched. It makes it so easy to inquire about my training programs. So I will put the link in the description box below, but it's just karennicole.com. So please go check it out and let me know what you guys think. There's an about me tab where you can learn a little bit more about me that you guys don't already know from watching my videos. <laughs> Online coaching tab, blog tab where I'll be updating with weekly recipes, motivation tips, training tips, things like that. A link to my YouTube channel, some client testimonials. And right here, the first thing you see on the homepage, is inquire now. So if you just want more information about my training programs, all you have to do is put in your name and your email address and what you're interested in and that will be sent right to me. So it makes it super easy. Off season slash improvement season means more time for new clients. So I'm really excited. What's up guys? I am here at the juice bar, one of my regular spots where I like to come and work and also get my juice shots. So these are my two go-tos. I have the turmeric shot, which is a good anti-inflammatory. And then I have the ginger shot as well, which is really good for digestion. Pour them both in one glass and take them all together. It's pretty hardcore, a little spicy, but feels super good on the insides and you just kind of feel like you're cleansing yourself out. After I get these juice shots done, I'm gonna head over and buy myself a training journal. I just started my off season, as many of you guys know. I really don't like to call it off season because this is a lifestyle for me and for many of you watching, I'm sure, as well. And so calling it off season really just doesn't sound appropriate to me. I like to refer to it more as my improvement season because I feel like this is the time where the work really, really matters. My rules for improvement season are going to be a little bit different than they've been during competition prep. During competition prep, we focus mostly on aesthetic goals. We focus on how we're looking. We focus on getting leaner. We focus on losing weight rather than getting stronger. And it's been a really long time since I've been in the gym and have actually felt strong. So I'm really excited for this improvement season. And my goals for my improvement season, again, they're not going to be aesthetic based. They're going to be, <laughs> they are going to be all strength based. I am going to buy myself a training journal. I used to have one and throughout my competition prep season, again, it's mostly aesthetic based, so I based most of my progress on my progress photos and how I was looking rather than how much weight I was lifting in the gym. Now that my goals have shifted and I'm focusing on strength gains and building muscle, I'm definitely going to be keeping really close, close track of my progress as far as how much weight I'm able to lift in the gym. Keep myself accountable and make sure that I'm staying on track with that. I'm gonna buy a journal and yes, I'm going to be bringing the journal with me to every gym session and I'm gonna log everything. I'm really excited to start that and I will keep you guys posted on everything and my progress as far as my strength gains go. If any of you guys use journals while you train, please comment below and let me know what you think and if it's something that helps you. I feel like when we just 
go through the motions and we aren't keeping track of our progress, we don't actually stop and realize how much progress we're making. It's hard to see our progress in the day to day. We're often focusing more on the big picture rather than the small little improvements that we're making. When in reality, it's those tiniest and the smallest improvements that add up to the big one. My goals are shifting right now with it being improvement season. Like I said, it's been a really long time since I've actually felt strong in the gym and so um, I'm gonna be making some diet changes and obviously some training style changes as I just talked about with you guys and I'm just really excited to feel strong again. Yes, I'm very excited about making these strength gains and making a different kind of progress than I've been used to but I would be lying if I told you that I wasn't a little bit nervous. Um, if you watched my video where I talked about to compete or not compete, but you might remember that I mentioned that I truly have not taken an off season since 2012. So it's been a long time coming. Yeah, I've taken some small breaks here and there, but nothing that I would ever really consider a legitimate off season or improvement season. So I would be completely lying if I told you I wasn't a little bit nervous. This is going to be a huge change for me. This is going to be something that I'm not used to. And anytime we encounter change, I think we tend to experience a little bit of fear and a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of apprehension. I'm so used to seeing my body a certain way. And so yeah, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous to see my body change, to see myself a little bit more on the softer side. I know that it's something that I need, not only mentally, but physically. I think I'm so excited about the changes that I know that I'll be able to make that the nervousness and the apprehension is just a minor fact. Anytime that you make a change in anything in life, it's normal to feel a little bit fearful and a little bit apprehensive. There's no magic trick or there's no secret for making the right kind of change. It's just one of those things where you just literally have to put one foot in front of the other and just go for it. If any of you are experiencing life changes right now and you're feeling a little bit fearful when you know it ultimately may be better for you in the long run, do not let fear stop you from going for it. Keep your goals in mind and just go for it. If you wait until you're ready, you will be waiting for the rest of your life. There's no time like the present, guys. We are never guaranteed a tomorrow. So if there's something you wanna do, if there's something that you feel a passion for, if there's something that you are excited about, you honestly just have to go for it. That's my little rant for today. I am going to take my ginger and turmeric shot and then head out to get my training turtle. I hope that all of you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will catch you guys next time.